Hi everybody. In a compact luxury SUV segment filled with show-stopping performers like the Mercedes AMG GLC class and Porsche Macan, the Cadillac XT5 faces overwhelming competition. In addition, there are a lot of luxurious luxury boats in this class, including tranquil transporters like the Volvo XC60 and the Genesis GV70. With either front-wheel drive or all-wheel drive, the XT5 has a turbo 4 or naturally aspirated V6 engine mounted transversely. Even though it has a quiet cabin and one of the lowest cargo capacities in its class, the interior furnishings are not as well done or as lavish as those of its competitors. Cadillac also failed to make use of the XT5's compact dimensions, its engines are not exciting, and its driving dynamics are dull. The Caddy appears pleasant enough on its own. However, it simply cannot compete in a class full of overachievers. The XT5 comes in dead last out of the more than two dozen entries in this category. The Cadillac XT5 receives only minor updates for the 2023 model year. This year, three of the eight paint colors are brand new. In addition, a 14-speaker Bose Series sound system and embedded navigation are now standard features on premium luxury and sport models. The best value is found in the mid-range premium luxury model. Leather upholstery, a heated steering wheel, a liftgate with hands-free operation, wireless charging, and other features are included. We would choose front-wheel drive over the optional V6 engine, which is more powerful. If you want all-wheel drive, you can get it. The turbocharged four-cylinder that comes standard with the XT5 makes 235 horsepower, while the V6 that comes as an option makes 310 horsepower. With either engine, it can't compete with performance-oriented rivals like the Porsche Macan S, which has 340 horsepower. However, the Caddy performs better against less aggressive models like the Lexus RX350 and the Volvo XC60. We have found the Cadillac's V6 to be impressively quiet and well isolated from the cabin in light-footed, day-to-day operation. However, the louder engine's voice is unflattering when the throttle is applied hard. Even when equipped with the adaptive suspension that is available as an option, the XT5 will not cause the hairs on your neck to stand up when it comes to handling twisty roads. The XT5 has good body roll control and a solid, solid feel, which is especially comforting on long highway drives. However, it can feel jittery over rough patches of broken pavement, and the cabin is rattled by sharp impacts. The steering is accurate, but there is no visceral feedback another chance missed to appeal to passionate drivers. The EPA estimates that front-wheel drive XT5S with the standard turbocharged four-cylinder get 22 mpg in the city, 29 mpg on the highway, and 24 mpg altogether. The V6 MPG drops to 19 in the city, 26 on the highway, and 21 when combined. These estimates are slightly lowered when the all-wheel drive option is added to either model a minor concession in exchange for increased confidence in adverse weather. On our 75 miles per hour highway test route, the fuel economy of an all-wheel drive XT5 with a V6 engine was 23 miles per gallon, while the fuel economy of a front-wheel drive model with a turbocharged four-cylinder engine was 29 miles per gallon. Visit the EPA's website to learn more about the XT5's fuel economy. 
In a modern Cadillac, passenger space is acceptable, but the accommodations are not as luxurious as they ought to be. The standard warranty coverages for the Cadillac XT5 match or exceed those of the majority of its rivals. Additionally, the Caddy provides free scheduled maintenance, however, it only covers the initial visit, which falls short of Volvo's 3-year or 36,000-mile warranty. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment below and let us know what you thought of the video. We'll see you in the next one.